Yo, what is going on guys? It is Donnie here. Welcome back to another Fortnite video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get stretch resolution on NVIDIA drivers. So as you see right now, I am on native resolution, but I'm going to be switching it back to my normal res 1440 so you guys know how to do it. So of course, as you see right now, I am on native resolution 1920 by 1080. Um, Just a couple things about stretch resolution. Um, You always want to keep your game in full screen mode. Because if you go on windowed or anything, it's just going to mess your screen up and put you back in the native resolution. So I just wanted to throw it out there before I get any more into this video because I've had a lot of problems with that. But um, if I help you out, please be sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. So with that being said, let's get right into it. I'm going to show you guys the first step on how to get stretch resolution. So you're going to want to go over to your... This is for NVIDIA drivers, by the way. This is not for AMD. Um, if you have AMD, just DM me on Instagram. I'll tell you how to do it because I used to have AMD. So you're going to want to go on run on the Windows bar. Just type in run and then click on this right here. Wait for this to pop up and then type in percent app data percent. Click OK. Then when this pops up, you're going to click on app data on the top corner. Click on local. Then click Fortnite game. Then click saved, then config, Windows client, make sure you click Windows client, then game user settings. Okay, so once you get here, right click this and click properties and turn off read only mode on and make sure to put, hit apply, then okay. If you're wondering what I just did when I turned off read only mode, that basically means you, you can edit all the settings like for in this case, stretch resolution and it will save. So as soon as you're done with that, click okay and pull this up. So there's gonna be four numbers that you have to change. See, there's one, two, three, and four. You have to change all of those. So I play on 1440. So what I do is you just type it in 1440, 1440, 1440. Now you don't have to do 1440, obviously. You could do whatever as you want, but I do recommend this res. This is a pretty good one. And then right after you're done, just click save, exit out of that. Then go back to properties and put it on read only mode and make sure to hit apply then okay. So now it won't like change on accident and it'll stay in stretch resolution. So as soon as you're done with that, um, just exit out of there. And this will have your game in stretch resolution, but your desktop will stay on native. So you're, you know, like unless if you minimize like the game while you're playing, like it will be on stretch. But a lot of people tend to overcomplicate it. I saw a lot of people like um, I've been watching like videos on pair mine like and some people like tell you to like put your game in windowed mode and then like do some weird shit don't don't do that like that's just stupid that's not how you do it another thing you guys want to do is right click on the mouse and find nvidia control panel or panel sorry my nose is like congested i can't really talk right now but um as soon as this comes up you're going to want to create a custom resolution so just click customize i have mine already over here but um if you guys don't have that already just click create custom resolution and change this to whatever resolution you have so in my case i put 1440 obviously it's not gonna let me do it again because i already have one but um this number you do not have to change all this means is what quality your game is going to be and i know this is vertical lines but literally all it means is what quality your game is going to be and you don't want to change that obviously you want to play in 1080p so you can get the best quality um just keep that number don't change it really all you have to worry about is this one depending on what resolution you play on and for the refresh rate, I have a 144 hertz monitor. Um, if you have one, make sure to connect your monitor with the display port so you can get all of that 144 hertz. Um, if it has 60 on it, don't worry about it. Just keep it at 60. You probably just have a 60 hertz monitor, which is not a big deal. But um, other than that, as soon as you're done with that, just click test and it will bring you into that resolution. So you don't have, don't play on your desktop at 1440. You just want to have this in there. So as soon as you're done with that, um, as you can see, it will be in the system like this, depending on like what resolution, you know, it will change. Okay guys, so as soon as your game starts up, notice how it switched the stretch resolution. And wait for this to load, blah, blah, blah. All this bullshit. So, as you see, my game is now in 1440 by 1080p, and that is literally all you have to do. It's super easy. Uh, I feel like a lot of people tend to overcomplicate it and come up with their own like bootleg way of doing it. Don't do that. Don't listen to that. Please just take my word. I, I've been there, done that. I've done 
plenty of other ways and it just doesn't work so um yeah if you go in the settings it now says 1440 by 1080 don't adjust the slider now um, i know it says 1920 by 1080 right there don't worry about that this is all that matters but do not drag it if you accidentally move it just don't save your changes and again make sure to stay on full screen mode because it will not work if you are on um excuse me if you're on like window or anything like that it's just not gonna work it's gonna switch you back to um native res 1920 by 1080 if you guys are still watching the video thank you for making it to the end of this video and again if i helped you out or if you just enjoyed this video please be sure to drop a like and if you're new to the channel subscribe we're getting really close to 100 subscribers again and i really want to hit that soon it mean a lot to me you guys um i feel like i'm doing pretty good so if you want to see more content turn on the bell post notifications you will get updates soon as i drop videos you could be the first to them so like who doesn't want to be first you know what i'm saying so again thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys next time